last time on Jungle Island Adventures. And there's the Mesa. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap the Great, and I am back on my Jungle Island. What are we going to be doing today? Well, so you see, in the last episode I said we were going to be doing a project, and then I got thinking about the projects that we had set up here, and I decided, you know what, we really need that slime farm, but the design I have in mind for that slime farm really requires some packed ice, okay? So, I don't know what you have picked yet, because I am recording this video before the conclusion of the Mesa adventure gets out to you. So, we're going to be uh, just using a little bit of license here, and we're not going to do a project today. Instead, we are going to go find an Ice Plains Spikes biome. Did I pick up that piece of paper? Yes, I did. And we're going to put that in the current. So there we go. We are currently going to find an Ice Plain Spikes biome. I have most of the stuff I need. And uh, what I don't have in my inventory, I've got in the ender chest. So we're going to... Uh, let's see, there's one more thing i got to get. Take a couple beds with me, or at least some wool. And then we will go from there. Okay, so... This bed, we'll take that one. Did I get it? I cannot hear any of the item pickup noises. I don't know why that is. I saw that's coal. Okay, not obsidian. That's fine. Um, we're gonna have to have the silk touch pick and a flint and steel, but we're gonna do just make sure we'll take some more wood with us and we'll take a cat. And a dog. And that way we should be fine on as far as creepers and what skeletons go. Let's take a couple of chests with us as well. Okay. And we'll take that. And what we gotta do is head into the nether. We'll see. You're coming with me. Oh, and a cat. Let me go get a cat. Yeah, so we've got to head into the nether. That's going to be our travel cat this time. Should teleport to me here soon. And we can go through the portal. There's the cat and the dog. And come on. Come here, buddy. Yeah, so we're going to push these guys through and push you through and then we'll try and find our way around in the nether all right so let's see I've got my oh and a chicken well that's it's just crazy okay so what we need to do is probably go up this way believe that no 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 this way okay so we are currently at um, do, 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 three negative five and we need to go to 103 negative 257 so that direction all right 103 negative 277 let's just make sure again X is increasing and Z is decreasing and we'll have to get up to level 93 which may prove a little more difficult than originally planned. We'll just head on this way and see what we can do about that. So the reason we're going to that particular spot is that I have another portal to the Mesa already there okay and I've already dug out part of it but I haven't done the full full digging and you see I'm going a little little brave here let's see if we've got anything this way 
Nope, nope. Just, just caving. Yeah, I don't want to do caving on camera with you. What I need to do is get to... Get to my... My nether portal for the mesa. Okay, that's really what we need to do. Where are we at the moment? And we're on 81. Well, we'll just have a maze of of tunnels going through here, I guess. Where is it? 1, 103. Not too far. Not too far. We just got to go this way. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to cut here, and then when we get to the mesa, I'll bring you back in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are back at the mesa. So there's the nether portal. And the reason I'm coming here is because this is a pretty good jumping off point for the ice plane spikes. Now, I discovered ooh, that I had already... Uh oh We got a little guy. There we go. That's why we have a dog. Good. Okay. There we go. So... I never like it when I hear those guys. They're kind of kind of unnerving. So I said last time that, that we were up here that I really wanted to be careful about just coming in and digging because the terrain is so so pretty around here. So we want to make sure that we don't just come in willy nilly. So part of the reason why I'm coming this way is also to kind of stake out a place that we can just start digging okay so we'll kind of get away from the jungle area there maybe go on the other side close to the ocean which is this way you can see it over there and that's probably where we're going to be digging but the other reason is that ice plane spikes is way 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 to the north and this is as good a place as any to start start our journey, okay? So, you know, we might just dig in over here. So I don't think that's such a bad idea. Plenty of, of space out here. And, yeah, I think this is going to be good. What I will do, let's see, I didn't bring any any cobble with me but I think yeah this is this is gonna be fine here so we'll, we'll pro well I don't know that's the thing I'm, I'm not quite committed to digging here yet so do pardon my lack of, um, of commitment to a particular location so we'll just go we'll just put that there and we will continue on our journey this way. Now, something that would be really good is Depth Strider Boots. I have not gotten those here on this world yet. Getting some really, really weird weird screen stuff going on. Let's progress on this way. Okay, so yeah, as I said, I'm taking a little bit of liberty with the with the uh, scheduling here because I, again, I don't know what it is that you guys have elected for our particular adventure or our project. And so we're just going to do this Ice Plane Spikes thing and that way we can we can get some packed ice and then we should be set depending on how much I get we should be set for quite some time on our packed ice needs because the slime farm design I have in mind should not take too much but we are gonna need it okay so yeah this this Mesa it's I really like I really like this biome they did a good job here so along the way let's chat shall we 
quite some time ago when I asked for suggestions on what to do next. Wow, look at that. I also said, hey, I really need some help with suggestions on what to talk about. And Neelium provided a, a few ideas, and so we'll just continue with that. And I've already told you about the saga with my my Minecraft journey so far, and that this is the original map. And uh, let's see, what else? Well, something that came up on Twitter, and if you don't follow me there, then um, feel free to take a look at that if you are on Twitter. But I am at MC Soap the Great. But, uh, you'll get a sneak peek of things that are coming up on the channel, and you can also give me, you know, ideas or chat or ask questions or or whatever right there on Twitter. So I'm usually logged in pretty much all day long and what we were doing one day as I was chatting with or I saw that Graphoniac had gone to the video store. I don't think it's a store anymore. I think it was a red box. Just a DVD vending machine, if you're not familiar with that. And she was complaining that all of the romantic comedies were pretty formulaic. And one of the, or one of my responses was that there are really only seven stories in the world. And the key is to retell them such that people don't realize that you're retelling them. Okay? And that got me thinking, um, let's see, what do we got to do? We got to go that way a lot. Yep, about 800 blocks that way. And, ooh, stomach grumbling, even though I've already eaten. So we're going to go that way 800 blocks and that way 2,000 blocks. Hmm, this will be a long trip, but boats are pretty good, so let's just head on, okay? So, the the key is to retell those same stories over and over again without anyone realizing that you are retelling them. And I got that quote from, from an interview I saw with one of the writers for Downton Abbey, and they run into the same thing, and it most... Most ongoing TV shows will run into the same thing over and over again because if they're going past seven episodes in the series, they're probably going to be doing the same basic storyline a few times. Okay, so I decided to look that up, and uh, it's it's an interesting it's an interesting thought. There's only seven types of stories, and apparently there's some disagreement as to the truthfulness of that particular anecdote. But I did find that there was a book called The Seven Basic Plots. It's, a, it's by a Jungian psychologist. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. Let's bring that up. Screenshot. Thank you. I'm always up for coming and taking a look at those guys because we might could get some more sponges out of them. This is the ocean monument that I had on my island did not have sponges. So we're just going to continue on this way. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, we're not too bad. Boats are a lot faster. So there was an overland journey to an ice plane spikes I figured, you know, we should just go on and do the boat ride. So anyway, the seven basic plots by, let's see, I've got my notes pulled up here. And we'll see, by Christopher Booker. Let's see, and he said that there are seven. So we've got a general type called Overcoming the Monster. The protagonist sets out to defeat an antagonistic force which threatens the protagonist's home or homeland. Okay, so potential... We'll, we'll get into examples later, but uh, 
why are we stopping? So let's continue on here. Getting into the negatives on the X, which is pretty good. Probably go more towards the negative Z at this point. The next one is rags to riches. Pretty self-explanatory if you've been paying attention to stories. Poor protagonist acquires power or wealth or something like that. Possibly losing it all and then gaining it back again. And there's the quest, which is kind of what we're on at the moment. Protagonists and some companions set out to acquire an important object or get to a location, facing many obstacles and temptations along the way. Let's see, what else? We've got voyage and return. The protagonist goes to a strange land after overcoming the threats it poses. Returns with nothing but experience. There's the comedy, light and humorous character with a happy or cheerful ending. Uh, it's generally dramatic work. Central motif is the triumph of, of over adverse circumstance, resulting in a successful or happy conclusion. And there's tragedy. Protagonist is a villain who falls from grace and whose death is a happy ending. That's kind of... Hmm. Let's see, what do they got there? Macbeth, Romeo and Juliet, Julius Caesar. Let's see. We got any ocean monuments around here? Nothing. Okay, so we're coming up on land. It is dark. So we'll have mob spawns here. The last one is Rebirth. It's the protagonist is a villain or otherwise unlikable character who redeems himself or herself over the course of the story. So that's the seven basic plots, at least according to Mr. Booker. Okay, so one of the things I've noticed in looking at all these examples is that the really good stories that you read tend to have elements of all of those, okay? So, for example, one of my favorite stories is Lord of the Rings. And there we've got a protagonist and some companions set out to acquire an important object or get to a location. So, you know, Frodo and Sam, they head off to take the One Ring to Mount Doom. So that's a bit of the concept of the quest. But they also go to... Mordor, and spoiler alert, um, if you have not watched those videos or those movies or read the book, ooh, too far, too far, let's go back this way. Um, if you've not read those or watched those movies, just a warning right now, we're about to get a spoiler, okay? So, mute or continue on. So, Frodo and Sam end up throwing the ring into Mount Doom, destroying it, and they return, and they have nothing to show for it except experience. So that's a little bit of the voyage and the return. Pull off the F3 screen there for you. Keep getting spikes here for the boat, and it could be a result of the fact that I'm running this as a server rather than single player. Okay, So I do that because I can get to it I can get to this world from my laptop as well, depending on what what we might be needing to do at any given moment. Okay, so let's let's pull into shore here. Seeing what we might be encountering. We've got we've got those guys. What else? Let's come over here. Yeah, so we're in a cold biome, which means we're doing pretty well. So let's put down the bed. Can't put it down on ice. Okay, so we're going to go right here, put the bed down. And we'll take a little sleep, get rid of all the nasties, and head on to our ultimate destination here. Got what creepers take care of those guys. Three of them. Wow. There's creepers all over the place. Lots of creepers. Lots of creepers. Okay, anyway, let's, uh, let's continue on. And spider. Oh yeah, I am 
in need of some sustenance here. Ah, uh, there we go. So you see it there? So Lord of the Rings, it's a little bit of a mix, and you should find that in the really, really successful books and stories that they tend to combine aspects of, of all of these different types. And uh, anyway, Lord of the Rings is no exception. I consider that among the greats. It's a classic from the 20th century, destined to become one. But, uh, but yeah, so what do you think? You think there are only seven stories in the world? You think there are more? Let me know. And maybe we can discuss some more in the future. But here, what I'm going to do, let's take a look at, well, I would take a look at the overall recording time, but uh, I don't know if I can do that while it is recording. So we'll just go over here, set up a little base, and um, we will put down another portal. You notice my dogs did not come with me. Slackers. Just didn't, didn't want to hang out. Okay. I think it's because they don't tend to teleport when you're on water. And we've come far enough that they did not want to teleport, or they weren't loaded when we hit land. So, so, so yeah, that's why we don't have the dog and the cat with us. All right, so let's get our... Oh, I already pulled one out. Flint and steel. We'll light this guy up, and there we go. And I'm going to spend some time collecting, and then I'm going to head back to the Jungle Island base. But uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you want to hear more discussion, feel free to give me suggestions in the description box below. And if you want, I'll be glad to discuss literature. If you've got a favorite book or a short story or anything like that, let me know. Or even a movie. Love to discuss it. Maybe we can run it through what kind of story is it? But I'm going to get collecting. And next time we meet, we will be back at the Jungle Island trying to figure out which project we should work on next. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.